So I had a very profound experience at breakfast yesterday morning, and I understand completely why the people that we surround ourselves with have everything to do with how successful we're gonna be. Good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Power Podcast. Thanks so much for uh, being on the ride with me this morning. It's Monday morning. It's weird, moody weather Monday morning here in Boise, Idaho. It's like already almost 80 degrees. We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. That's okay. We've had such a great... Hey, good morning. We've had such a great, easygoing spring as far as weather goes that... I'm not going to complain about it. It's going to get hot, 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 I imagine. I imagine we're going to have a triple digit kind of end of summer here. It happens. It happens. So, this weekend we got to go over. Man, it's just gorgeous the way the light pokes through and hits the water, though. I don't know if you're able to see any of this. Hey, good morning. By the way, if you don't know it, I appreciate you listening in on this podcast, and I think that that's how this podcast is designed to be experienced, but I have recently started uh, mounting a GoPro to the handlebars and just letting it run, so uh, the audio and video, put them together in my uh, Adobe software later, so that in case you wanted to follow along the ride visually, you are now able to do that. So yeah, this weekend, I had such a profound experience having breakfast with some of my favorite people on the planet, people that I trust and love and feel loved and trusted by more than anyone. And I had this sense at one point in our conversation, oh, I know that you're gonna have to do a wall ride every once in a while. (laughs) That was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, you're coming around your left here. So I had this profound sense of, of the fact that I know that I cannot be objective about myself. Which means that, in a way, and I don't know philosophy and I don't know psychology, so I'm just thinking through these things with you right now, right this moment. But I know that objectively I can't see myself because I've got my own filters about like how I want to see myself or even on the converse side, you know, I have filters about the things that really annoy me about myself. And these may or may not be things that annoy others. They may not even be able to see them. Maybe something that I'm holding on to, something that I've decided to continue to believe about myself. Now, One of the things I'm also learning is that we can decide to not believe certain things about ourselves anymore. A lot of times that requires the help of a therapist, someone to work through these issues with you. So if you've got something specific that you're working on, particularly I think a therapist could be very helpful. You gotta find the right person though. I'm not talking about therapy this morning. What I'm talking about is the fact that I had this profound moment where I had this idea that my identity is how I interact with the people around me more than it is anything that I think of myself, more than anything that I could even see of myself maybe. Now, I've been watching a lot of science fiction films and a lot of people have this idea that our identity is attached to memory. And this may be actually true. I really don't know what I'm talking about here. But, If I start losing parts of my memory, but I'm still cool to the people around me, and I still love the people around me, and I still work with the people around me, does that mean that I'm not me anymore? Am I defined by who I believe I am, or by how I interact with the world around me? Ah, man, it really twerked my noggin. I was especially caught then a little later in the conversation when I may have been talking about how sometimes, hey, good morning, how sometimes I can be a little aloof. (laughs) 
And I think it's because I get caught in these moments. And I'm sorry, folks, if we're close together with, one, with, with you. And I'm aloof, I'm sorry. But here's the thing. My friend said something that pulled me out of that. I was kind of like caught in a thought. And he said something, I don't even remember what it was at breakfast. I was like, is that true? Or I don't know if that's right. And he was accurate in that he, he was calling me on something, but in a way that wasn't like, oh, you're stupid or, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Hey, good morning. He was calling me on it because we were in conversation with one another. We were imagining reality together, co-creating an experience, if you may, if you will. I don't know why you say that, why you say that, why I said that, if you will, if you may. I think we talked about that on a podcast months ago, about extraneous words in the English language. I think maybe used to that people had nothing to say and so they had to use a lot of words to not say it. <laughs> oh, I didn't see the cart full of dead rafts. Ah, yes, we believe in rivers and oceans. It really bums me out to see that big cart of dead rafts there. So, later on as I was mulling this over, because it kind of depressed me for a while, like I was really bummed out after this conversation, not because the conversation was bad or the people were bad or the company was bad, it was all fantastic. But I was, I was just like really working through this idea that, hey, good morning, that I can't know myself in the way that other people know me. I can't experience myself in the way that other people experience me. And then it got really complicated. <laughs> because if I can't experience myself the way that others experience me, that means that the things that I primarily need to be working on as a human being to evolve as a human being, which is part of this podcast, right? I'm working to evolve as a filmmaker, writer, and human being. Is this idea that if I can't see who I am objectively, how do I know? How do I evolve? And it's only through the interactions with others that I can, that I'm going to be able to do that. And I was, it just took me, it took me all night. And uh, I was probably a little moody after that. Like I was saying the other day, I get moody, you know, because I have these thoughts and it, it's like, I feel like I can't go on until I figure this thing out. And I'm sorry about that, folks. It's just the way my little, little noggin works. And I need your help from time to time to be able to say, hey dude, check out that sunset. How is that coffee anyway? Isn't it lovely? Well, yes, it actually really is. And so are these eggs, perfectly cooked. Every time we go to Lone Pine in Baker City, they cook the eggs perfectly. So if you're ever traveling on Interstate 84 through Eastern Oregon, stop in to Lone Pine there. Hey, good morning. So the point is, if I haven't been clear, <laughs> the point is that um, I have to surround myself with people who love and trust me as much as I love and trust them so that when moments come up, if I'm out of line, that they can call me out on it and say, hey man, you're out of line there. And you know, man, you might do this every once in a while. <laughs> And then it's like, oh, it's a pattern. And then I can see that pattern in myself through other people's eyes, which means that at that point, I can work on changing that pattern. So friends, thank you so much for riding along with me this morning. I really, really appreciate you being here. Oh, I've got some news about the podcast. We have a dedicated website now called morningridepodcast.com. So if you want to check out the podcast from now on, you can, go to, uh, you can go to my website and you'll be able to see it, a link to morningridepodcast.com. Of course, you can get it out on iTunes. We've also got 
the YouTube channel where we're uploading the video. It's not a video friendly kind of podcast. I'm not doing any editing. It's just the straight ahead. Here's what happened, happened documentation, similar to the audio version. But the audio version really is the, the kind of the key version. But if you want to follow along, we've got that crappy Go foot, GoPro footage out there. And it really is crappy. I haven't figured out how to make it look beautiful like a lot of people do. I think it's just because I've got it just hard mounted. We've been watching the sky for quite a while, it looks like. <laughs> oh, how funny. That's never happened. It looks like my, uh, my camera rig came loose. So this will be an interesting one. Anyway, folks, you can check it out there. We've also got uh, social channels for Twitter and Instagram at Morning Ride Pod. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But it'll work. I think it'll work. So at Morning Ride Pod on Twitter and Instagram. Check us out there. If you want to interact, if you want to be on the Morning Ride Pedal Powered podcast with me, I think I would love that. And we could arrange that. We've had interviews with folks before. One of our kind of co-producers or, um, gosh, what would her title be? Definitely consultant. Had a great chat with Molly. We've had the parents on the podcast. Anyone that wants to be on the podcast, just let me know. We'll figure it out. I'd love to learn more about your ride and see how you get through your days and how you get through creative blocks if you're a creative person, which I think most of us are. We've got all kinds of different creative problems we're trying to solve. But folks, if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle, especially in the mornings right now because it's going to get warm. <laughs> it's supposed to be like close to 100 today in Boise, but I don't know. Ooh, look at this. It looks freshly paved. Maybe it's just wet. So if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle. Uh, whatever your bicycle is, maybe your bicycle is studying philosophy and uh, psychology, and you could uh, help me out with some of these details that I'm talking about so ineloquently, I'm sure, and definitely not scientifically, um, because I definitely am not a psychologist or philosopher. But yeah, when I have these moments, you know, it's like, man, it was kind of a beautiful moment, but it was also kind of a scary moment. It was like, well, how am I going to evolve if I can't see myself? And it's uh, by hanging out with good people. So uh, thank you, universe, for that great cup of coffee yesterday morning <laughs> and those perfectly cooked eggs and the conversation with great people. Man, whatever your ride is, whatever your bicycle is, I hope you have a chance to get out on it today because this is the only ride we get, folks.